Barbados, a sun-drenched, windswept island of 166 square miles. The island's physical, social, and economic environment embraces the goals of the direct project, as key sectors recognize the critical importance of renewable energy development to national and regional sustainability. Barbados is quite a small island, um, measuring just 461 kilometers square. Um, it has a quite high population of 300,000 or nearly 300,000 people. Uh, this means that it has a, a fairly high population density, one of the highest in the world in fact. Um, this um, impacts on the, the natural resources uh, adversely, so that it's actually classed as a, a water-scarce country. Um, it also has large energy import bill, um, where, whereby 7.5% of its um, GDP is spent uh, solely on importing energy for the electricity industry. The direct project has been buoyed by a strong social partnership existing between the government, the private sector and the University of the West Indies, the institution which drives the project. The University of the West Indies is particularly pleased to be a part of the direct project for several reasons. The first is that it is a collaborative project uh, with the University of South Pacific, the University of Mauritius and the Hamburg University of Applied Sciences and we encourage collaborative uh, projects particularly with our South-South partners. The second is the nature of the project which focuses on RE and RE technologies which we believe to be absolutely critical for the sustainable development uh, of our region. And, and the third is that it is very practitioner oriented uh, and we need this to be able to get information on RE out to our stakeholders. The uh, Barbados component um, of the University of Western is that, that part of the direct project, which we call Work Package 4, um, primarily focuses on capacity building seminars and workshops. And we have run several of these now. We've run four in Barbados, uh, one in Jamaica, one in St. Lucia, and we will be running one in Trinidad. The focus has been primarily on solar energy and photovoltaic systems, uh, given the potential of, uh, of, these, of this for um, RE technology development in our region. But we've also dealt uh, with biogas, um, with wind energy, and to some extent with geothermal energy. Um, the, the audience, the participants, have been deliberately diverse. They include public sector, uh, businesses, um, practitioners, uh, and university students and staff. And, and a, a valuable part of, of each uh, seminar is that we conclude it with a, what we call a site visit or study visit, where we carry the participants to see um, RE in operation in the field. There are, of course, other components uh, to, uh, to the direct project that we're involved in, and I'll just mention two of these. One of these is um, what we call um, networking events, where we deliberately uh, target a situation in which there will be a large number of persons uh, with, who have potential interest in RE, and we go and talk about RE and talk about the direct project. So examples of that would be uh, the CREF um, uh, conference, which is the Caribbean Renewal, Renewable Energy Forum. That, it's the biggest single forum. Um, for RE in the Caribbean and we, we, um, we went there, we talked about RE, we talked about the direct project and a second example would be the university's research days where we have a lot of persons, a lot of stakeholders from the community uh, come in to participate and it's an, a, a good opportunity um, to convey information. The second and last uh, component that I will mention is what we call pilot projects uh, where we are um, developing, establishing um, pilot projects on our campuses that are examples of RE in operation on the campus so that persons that come to the campus um, can become aware of it, can, can benefit from it, can utilize it uh, and we are well underway um, with completing our pilot projects uh, on, on, on the campus here uh, at UWI in Barbados. Progress is being made in teaching renewable energy uh, at different levels. We have um, currently three um, renewable energy undergraduate courses. One is on uh, renewable energy sources, the, which is for all science students uh, in the Faculty of Pure and Applied Sciences. We have um, a course for physics students which looks at the fundamentals of photovoltaic physics. And we're also just about to start um, a renewable energy um, internship project. For the postgraduate side, we're, we're We'll start uh, later this year uh, a renewable energy management master's program um, which is focused 
not only on renewable energy but also on the management of renew renewable energy. The government has been very supportive of renewable energy. Um, they have um, zero import duty on any renewable energy system. There are now approximately perhaps 15 installers of renewable energy systems for, for residential and for commercial industry. The government of Barbados has also um, initiated the, the Green Economy Scoping Study uh, for the island to become a more sustainable um, economy, as well as the, the Smart Energy Fund, which um, involves um, a, a circulating fund whereby people can apply to install renewable energy systems and also energy efficiency uh, projects as well. The Green Economy Scope and Study is a collaboration between the University of the West Indies, the Ministry of the Environment, as well as the United Nations Environmental Programme. And the main goal of the initiative is to look at ways in which we can use a uh, transition to a more resource efficient green economy. The, the objective there is to address some of the vulnerabilities that smaller developing countries face. A green economy would allow us to reduce our dependence on oil as well as to increase our energy efficiency. There are also potential benefits in terms of reducing the impact on our foreign exchange reserves. Uh, one of the key benefits of the Green Economy Scope Study in my mind has been the collaboration that we had on the project. We had um, academics from almost every faculty within the university um, looking at the potential impact of greening or transitioning to a green economy. Going forward, um, it therefore allows the University of West Indies to, to develop a specialization in this area. The expansion of renewable energy initiatives in Barbados is evident in the growth of both commercial and domestic enterprises. Solar technology has had the longest and widest impact. Barbados has been identified as one of the leading countries in the world in the use of solar water heating. In fact, we are ranked fifth per thousand population. Essentially, um, solar dynamics has been at the forefront of the development of this technology, and we are very pleased to have led the industry over the years. We have a production center here in Barbados, as well as one in St. Lucia, and we seek to serve the Caribbean generally. Uh, but we have potential for more exports. We export to many of the islands right now, but the potential is there to expand. This house has been the first house um, to use alternative energy. In this room, we have two systems a standalone system. A standalone system means that you produce your own electricity, store it, and push it through your house. This system is called the grid tie. It's called the grid tie because you are tied to the electrical grid or the electrical wires that run along the road. So when you produce electricity from this system, the house will take what it wants and all the rest of the electricity would go back to the grid. So you're feeding, you're feeding light and power electricity because of the quality of light in the Caribbean and in Barbados this system will give you twice the amount of electricity that you would get in North America or Canada. We at Barbados Light and Power, we have embraced and supported the renewable energy industry in Barbados. We have developed a two-year pilot program which seeks to credit customers with renewable, en with renewable energy that are willing to sell it to the grid. We buy energy exported to the grid based on the avoided cost of fuel and we sell energy at our standard tariff. The commercialization of renewable energy in Barbados also embraces energy efficiency, which is spawning new industries. Caribbean LED Lighting is a green company. We focus on renewable energy products and energy efficiency products. Energy efficient products such as LED lighting. In our factory here in Barbados, we produce leading edge uh, LED lights, both for commercial and residential use. These lights save between 50 and 80% on energy consumed. And we also produce uh, off-grid, hybrid, wind turbine, solar PV street lights. We also have inverters that go on these lights that allow people to charge their mobile phones, their cell phones, um, laptops and hand tools. We're exporting across uh, the Caribbean and CARICOM countries and this week we received a first order from the United Kingdom. So Caribbean countries are exporting to Europe uh, leading edge energy efficient products. 
Caribbean LED is but one of a number of enterprises with which the University of the West Indies has established mutually beneficial relationships that support the achievements of the direct project, including renewable energy pilot projects at the Cafil campus. Some of the projects that will be implemented on the Cafil campus include lighting, photovoltaic lighting of the two bus stations. We're also going to replace the compact fluorescence bulbs with LED lights, which is also known as the light emitting diode lights. We're also going to have security lighting that will be powered by photovoltaic. We're also going to have a demonstration facility on the campus. In the interim, we're going to use the physics lab to demonstrate the various RE technologies. We're going to also put up posters for those technologies that we cannot demonstrate in the form of a model, so you can actually see the display on the, 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 in, in, in the physics lab. We purchased two renewable energy demonstration kits that has three technologies, that basically has three technologies that students can use it for educational purposes to learn those different technologies. That includes wind, photovoltaic and hydrogen fuel cells. Supporting our thrust into renewables is the use and application of LED lights, which are energy efficient. And again, with the support of the University of West Indies, we're applying those energy efficient LED lights into the university campus. So the, the university benefits from reduction, substantial reduction in their energy costs. Well, we have been working collaboratively with the University of the West Indies here at Cave Hill, um, demonstrating uh, renewable energy projects um, funded by the direct project uh, for the small island states. We've installed a solar PV system on the bus shelter. Um, we retrofitted the lighting units uh, with LED light bars to conserve on electricity usage and they're providing about 5,000 units, uh, lumens of, uh, of light. Uh, we've also designed a display unit that provides the system voltage and amperage, both while charging uh, during the day and then when the lights are using that charge at night. And we're about to embark on a second uh, bus shelter project at the UE um, Faculty of Law. As the direct project nears completion, Project leaders at the UWI and their social partners are enthusiastic about its potential for lasting impact. UWI collaboration with the direct project has enabled us to foster relationships with businesses both regionally and locally. Through these relationships, we were able to create an internship program for our students whereby they can actually go to these businesses and get a practical approach so the different RE technologies. In this way, they will also be able to get job opportunities. So in actual fact, the outreach arm of our program is strengthened. I am totally convinced that we in Barbados and in the Caribbean um, do not really have to de depend on oil. We want to get Barbados totally independent from fuel oil. I think our challenge going forward is how do we maintain sustainability of these actions and activities um, when the project ends and, um, and uh, components such as the pilot project are an obvious vehicle uh, by which we can do this.